what's going on guys? This video is a little bit different. I'll be answering a question that I was asked on Facebook about how to rank in Google Maps without watching a, a three hour course. So I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna try to do it in 15 minutes. Let's see how it works out. Watch this. All right, guys, so this is the question that was asked last night on Facebook. What is a straight to the point course on how to rank in Google Maps? Not rank for fortress with uh, 500 two hour videos, not local client takeover for beginners, not Yoast or Bright Local. I'm very experienced in SERP results. So what I'm looking for is ranking in maps. So what I'm saying is they're two different, two different animals. I really appreciate any help you can provide, please advise. So I'm going to show you how to do this in 15 minutes. This is for everybody. This is the thing that frustrated me the most is when I first started watching these courses on, on uh, YouTube, it would take 15 minutes and people were drinking coffee and making jokes. And uh, it was really, really frustrating to watch a two-hour video and get five minutes of content out of it. So that's why with my videos, I, I always made it a point from the beginning is get right to the point. So I'm going to do that right now. Okay, guys, so step one and step two are interchangeable. If you haven't created your website yet, you want to get citations. All right, if you haven't done anything yet. So you, uh, what are citations? You want to sign up for Bing and you want to set up for um, City Search if you could get into Yahoo or White Pages, right? Try to get yourself like 50 to 75 citations to start. A good place to get it is you could get it on a, a website called Bright Local. I'll put the link in the description below. Local Viking, Web Ranker, Web 20 Ranker. Um, you could also get it from Fiverr. So I'll put all the links in the description below. What you're trying to do right here is create a presence on the web, meaning that when Google goes out, it wants to see that you have a presence on the web. That's something that's really and that's something that's really important. You may also, as extra bonus, uh, do a press release saying, uh, we're opening a business, John's Hair Salon or, uh, or uh, ABC Electrical is opening a new location or our first location, you send out a press release. That press release is gonna go out to like 400 news directories and they're gonna list your name, address, and phone number in the press release. All right, so that's step one, establish a presence. Hey guys, so I just added this part into the video, I forgot. This is the main reason why I spoke about uh, uh, citations was um, you need brand presence to be in the Google 3-pack or it's preferred, right? It's going to be a lot easier if you pop a knowledge panel right here. How do you know if you do that? You type in your brand name. And if you show up on the right-hand side, that means that Google recognizes you as a brand. If, you're, if you have your name, address, phone number, and website address on sites like Bing and Yelp and Angie's List, Thumbtack, and there's four or 500 other ones. Actually, there's thousands of them. Um, like I said, just start with 50 to 75 and you get a press release where you announce either a new service that, you're, um, that your company is performing or a new grand opening or, you know, or grand opening and you add your name, address and phone number and your website address to that article. Google's going to start to rec recognize you as a brand and you will have this knowledge panel. You'll pop this knowledge panel. So not only will it help green out the center for you in your grids, which I'll show you later on, but it also it will also establish uh, presence. And another thing, in your Google My Business, right? If you haven't put in for a Google My Business, it's a really good idea. And listen to this part. There's a pro tip: uh, do these things first. Build your website. And put in for like 75 directories with your name, address, and phone number, a website address, and get a press release going out to over 400 new services. Then put in for your uh, Google Business Profile, whatever it's called now. Google My Business, Google Business Profile. You, you have a better chance of getting it approved. So guys, I listened to the whole video, and I forgot that part because I'm, I was so worried about 15 minutes. 
So I kind of had to re-edit it and add this part in, but it was really important. Thanks, guys. All right, guys, we're doing good on time so far. So step two is your website, and your website should be set up this way. This is the way that I set it up. I'll go over it with you real quick. Your home page should be about two things. It should be about your GMB category. In this case, their GMB category, their first Google My Business category is Divorce Lawyer. And where they're from, Staten Island, New York. Everything on the home page should be about what they do for divorce and divorce related services. If they do bankruptcy and if they do something else, they should have their own pages for that. But their main category, their first GMB category, their home page should have everything about that main category. Okay? You'll also notice that underneath the logo, we put the address. We put a nice big call us button, the credit cards that they accept. And not only do we put the phone number here, we also put it in the image. And we also put it throughout the site several times. It's real important because if somebody comes to your site, you wasted all that time trying to get somebody in the Google 3-pack to go to check out your website, and then they don't know what to do and they X out of the whole thing. Don't give the person coming to your website seven choices. Right? Don't let them go to Facebook and Instagram and tweet you and, and then live chat. What is it? Or fill out a form. What is it that you want them to do? 90% of my clients want, want calls. Other people want forms filled out, whatever you want. That's the signal. Just give your clients one choice. All right? So your second, your first set of links are your second GMB categories. So her second GMB category is family attorney. Her third GMB category is mediation service. Trial attorney, legal service, law firm. These are your GMB categories. For everything that you have in your GMB, you need a page on your website for that service, for that GMB category. Okay? Now, the practice areas, these are your keyword pages. These are all her keyword pages. You see that? This is your GMB category pages. Second GMB category, third GMB category, so on and so forth. And then these are the keyword pages. Your third set of links should be the areas that you serve. This is an odd case because she's on the tip of Staten Island and within five miles is Brooklyn and Manhattan. If she was located any, anywhere on Staten Island, I, put, I would have put uh, different neighborhoods, different towns in Staten Island. But she's so close, we went and got some business in Manhattan and Brooklyn, which was good. After these three links, right, you could put anything you want. You want to put your blog, you want to put your frequently asked questions, right, and make sure you put a contact us. I can't tell you how many websites I look and I don't know how to get in touch with the people. You need to contact us. It should always be the last link. So I'm going to say it again because it's a little complicated. That's really not. Home page is everything about the GMB category and the uh, area that you're from. And it's repeated throughout all the H tags. All the H tags have to do with well, where they're from and what they do. Okay. Then uh, first set of links, GMB categories. Second set of links are all your keyword pages. Third set of links are the areas that you serve. The, all these three pages link together. We, that could be another lesson. If you want to see how it links, just go to Soren Law and you'll see that the areas we serve pages link to the practice area pages, link to the family service. So, uh, all right. So, over here, it's going to say uh, the Staten Island page is going to link to the divorce lawyer. So it, it, to Google, it says that um, they're a lawyer in Staten Island. They, 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 uh, they're from Staten Island. 
They practice divorce law, and the GMB category is, uh, you know, the homepage right here, divorce lawyer. All right, so that's how it's uh, that's how it's set up. That is how it's set up. All right, let's move on to the next uh, step three. All right, guys. So step three, it's all about reviews. It's all about reviews. So. If you take a look, I type in Divorce Lawyer, you'll see my client Soren group, Soren Laura group, and then this one's my client also, Benjamin Haber, uh, with 19 and 16 reviews respectfully. So if I were somebody outside the three-pack, if I were out, somebody outside the three-pack, this is what I would do. If I were somebody like... Uh, I don't know. Hat, uh, this is my client too. Uh -huh. They really are. They really are. Okay. Okay. Brian. I say Brian D. Perskin, right? So what I would do is I would take a look at Staten Island. And if my, my firm was located right here, I need reviews all around Staten Island. I need somebody from Rossville to do a couple of things. I need them to give me a review. And if, if they can, drive to my location. So if they were coming to see Camerata and De, De, De Mayer, I would ask them to use their Google Maps to get, even if they've been there a hundred times, use Google Maps to get to your place. Use the signals mean so much. So you want them to drive to your location and when they get back home, from this location, back in Rossville, where Eltingville or Great Hills, you want them to leave the review. It would be great if when they came there, they take a couple of pictures. Now, in the review, and that's the reason why I said in the beginning, organic and maps are two different animals. What I mean by that is this is maps right here. And underneath is organic. When you're underneath, you're in organic. You don't you don't need re reviews. Can't help you. Reviews can't help you. But this is a big driving factor: is user signals in maps. If you get anything from this video, listen to this part. You need user signals. Forget about domain authority and page rank. Those are all rabbit holes. Uh, getting 10 million links and, and pointing it at a um, at a Tumblr page and then doing this. Those are all rabbit holes. You need you need user signals. Have users message you from like to Tompkinsville, right? Have users message message you uh, using you know the GMB, and then uh, have them use driving directions and have them leave you reviews. Now, what I was going to say before is in the reviews. You need your reviews to be optimized. I was looking for a divorce lawyer in Staten Island. I met with uh, Miss Soren from Soren Law Group. Uh, I'm sorry, I forgot her name. Let's say it's uh, Jane Soren, right? Uh, I, I forgot her name. I'm sorry. All right. So, uh, you know, I met with, with, with Jane Soren. And uh, I went to her office in Edgewater Plaza. Like, you want to add as much detail as possible. Now, do not optimize all your reviews. Do not optimize all your reviews. You're going to get whacked from Google. But one in three, optimize. Okay? That's really, really important. That's really important. Optimize your reviews. All right, guys, so the next thing is uh, CTR, which is click-through rate. Once again, you want people to go to Google, type in divorce lawyer, right? Scroll down to your listing, click your listing, then, you know, either call from your listing and then X out of the page or go to your website and ask for directions, right? That's what you want to do. You want... You want people to type in divorce lawyer, uh, uh, divorce attorney, right? All these keywords, you want them to type in. 
and then you know scroll down find your listing and then click your listing if you want to play around a little bit you could have them click your competitors listing hit the back button come back hit go back to your listing and then click your listing and then uh you know make the call or go to your website or something like that so that's number five now number six i'm going to give you i'm going to give you a bonus all right guys so this is number six this is the bonus okay everything starts with the grids you cannot rank in the google three pack or even think about ranking in the google three pack until um you know where where, where you are right so if this was my client that i was working on i see that they're already ranking in the center here but they need rankings on the outside and this is where they need their google reviews and their driving directions they need them from this area you could not rank let me say it again you can't rank in the google three pack until you start here when you're first taking on a new client this is all going to be red but if you get that press release um you can get those citations that that include the nap the name address and phone number uh you'll notice after a week or two that that center portion will start to uh turn green now you have to attack each area with uh user signals and that's how you rank in maps that's it simple listen i left a couple of seconds because i did want to say that i really appreciate you watching this video and um and i know things been hard like i know it's really really frustrating but it's because of this frustration that we met today, right? Because you had this frustration and I was able to answer. I don't know a lot of things. There's just a couple of things in life I know. I know how to do bodybuilding. I know how to raise kids. And I know I know how to do maps. Other than that, you know, I, I, I can't drive from here to Walmart without using my directions. All right? So I the point that I'm trying to say is there's always good things, even even when you're going through tough times. And if you're watching this video, I want you to know that um, that everything's going to be okay. This year is going to be your year. It's going to be a great year for you. you. You just have to pick and choose who you watch. And I'm not saying watch me. There's a lot of really good people out there. And I'll leave it up to you to make that choice. But if you're watching something for two and three hours and you have no idea what the people are saying and they're joking around, don't waste your time. Life's too short, man. Get to the point. Get to the point. And, and like I said, I'm not your only choice. I'm not your only choice. There's a lot of other people. Uh, however, if you, if you would like to use me and you have any questions, you see my, uh, my numbers up here. I'll be happy to work with you. Uh, and that's it, man. So listen, everybody have a good day. I'm glad that this, you know, uh, that this thing brought us all together. And I hope that I was able to help you in less than 15 minutes. Guys, have a great day and we'll, uh, we'll see you tomorrow.